Hello my dear students welcome back today we are going to start a new poem that name is my dog let's read this poem about a dog who likes to have fun so just open your textbook here is the poem my dog so let's start very first the recitation of the poem and then after i will explain it try to recite this poem together okay Let's get started. Have you seen a little dog anywhere about? A raggy dog, a shaggy dog who's always looking out for some fresh mischief which he thinks he really ought to do. He is very likely at this minute bitting someone's shoe. So here in this particular stanza, the poetess is telling about that the dog is really very naughty and she is asking, have you seen a little dog anywhere and how is its appearance? It's a raggy dog and shaggy dog. What is the meaning of raggy and shaggy? Raggy and shaggy means the dog has hair which are long and untidy. Okay. Who's always looking out and it was always searching about some fresh mischief. Mischief means you can say naughtiness. Yes. Which he thinks he really ought to do. And every time you, you can see it is doing any type of mischief. And sometimes you can catch him while biting someone's shoe. Now let's recite the next stanza of the poem. If you see that little dog, his tail up in the air, a whirly tail, a curly tail, a dog who doesn't care. For any other dog he meets, not even for himself, then hide your mats and put your meat upon the topmost shelf. Again here the poetess describe the dog's naughtiness behavior and somehow its appearance. So what she said that the dog's tail is always up in the air. It is looking like a whirly tail and curly tail. And a dog which are not having any interest in other dogs and any other thing. It was busy in itself. And it is too naughty that it can hide your mats. And you should put your meat upon the topmost shelf. If you are not doing like that, then it might be possible it can eat that meat. Now let's recite the next one. If you see a little dog barking at the cars, a raggy dog, a shaggy dog with eyes like twinkling stars. Just let me know for though he is as bad as bad can be, I wouldn't change that dog for all the treasures of the sea. So, let me explain this further. If you see a little dog barking at the cars, a raggy dog, a shaggy dog with eyes twinkling stars. So, uh, the eyes of that dog is really very twinkling. Why? Because it is every time filled up with the naughtiness. And it is again raggy dog and shaggy dog. And it is always barking at the running cars. Just let me know for though he is as bad as bad can be so here the poetess emily lewis said that it might be the bad dog but i wouldn't change that dog if you're offering me any type of treasures of sea i'm not going to change my dog because she really loved that dog very much that's why she gave the title of my dog Okay, I think you understood that poem very easily because it's really very easy poem to understand. Now let's recite this poem with proper music and some animations. Okay, let's get ready. Little dog anywhere about a raggy dog, a shaggy dog who's always looking out for some fresh mischief which he thinks he really ought to do. He is very likely at this minute putting someone's shoe. If 
if you see that little dog, his tail up in the air. A really tail, a curly tail, a dog who doesn't care. For any other dog he meets, not even for himself. Then hide your mats and put your meat upon the topmost shelf. If you see that little dog barking at the cars, a raggy dog, a shaggy dog with eyes like twinkling stars. Just let me know, for though he is bad, as bad as bad can be, I wouldn't change that dog for all the treasures of the sea. So here the recitation finished. Now it's time to note down your glossary and question answers of the poem. So just open your notebook, open a new page, write down the heading my dog. Then after you will write down the heading poem. And then after in the next line you should write down glossary. And two points you should keep it in your mind that writing should be neat and clean and be careful about your spellings. So let's write the first word raggy and shaggy. Raggy and shaggy is already given in your textbook. So the meaning is hair that is long and untidy. The next word is whirly. Whirly means moving around quickly. Okay. The word is there, no? whirly tail and the curly tail. Yes. Now the next one, the third one is treasure. Treasure means in Hindi you can say khajana. Okay. Uh, so what is the meaning of that? Wealth of any kind or in any form. It might be in the form of jewelry. It might be in the form of money or any precious metals. Okay. Now let's write the question answers of the poem. So let's begin. The first one is here. What is Raggy Shaggy Dog always looking for? Answer. He is always looking for some fresh mischief. Mischief here, you know. Uh, what is the meaning of mischief particularly? It is like, What is the meaning of mischief particularly? That is type. Okay. Now the next one is, uh, Question number two is, Bitting someone's shoe an act of mischief. Why is it so? So let's write down the answer. Yes, it is an act of mischief because, because it would cause inconvenience to the owner of this shoe. Now write down the next one. Pick out two sets of rhyming words. So here we have two sets like about, out, do, shoe. Now write down the fourth one. It has two parts. A and B. So let's do the first one. Describe the dog's tail. Answer. The dog's tail is curly and woolly and it is always up in the air. B. Has the dog made friends with other dogs? Answer. No. The dog has not made friends with other dogs because he doesn't care for other dogs. Now let's do the next one. Question number 5. Why should the meat be put on the topmost shelf? Answer. The meat must be put on the topmost shelf. Otherwise, he will try to eat it. Next one. Which words rhyme with care and shelf? So care with air and shelf with himself. Now let's do the next one. Question number 7. The dog has eyes like twinkling stars. Do the eyes twinkle with A option love, second one mischief and third one is joy. So the answer will be B mischief. Now question number 8. The dog has been described as bad. Does bad the hero mean A option cruel, B option naughty and C option fierce? So here the answer is B naughty. Now it's time to write down question number 9. Who wrote the poem My Dog? 
So, you can find out your answer here. At the bottom of the poem, you have a, a green color name that is Emily Lewis. So, she is the poetess of the poem, My Dog. So, you can write the answer like, Emily Lewis wrote the poem, My Dog. So, dear children, in this way, we have finished the syllabus of English of class 3. So, my dear students, prepare well for upcoming examinations and we will meet you in the next video. Till then, keep smiling and keep learning. Take care. Bye-bye.